Okay then, welcome to part two of world one of Let's Play Darkspawn. I think I'm getting to some kind of boss level thing. Oh, new ability. That's cool. I'll have to check it out. Oh, it's another thing that gives me items. Oh, it's just giving me health. I've already got full health. Oh, it's a laser. Ah, oh, that is amazing. Okay. And this game just went up like an entire star in my review because I just got a laser. That's probably what I'm going to do at the end of all of my games. I'm going to review them. You know, at the end of my LP. Just a quick rundown of everything that I've gone through and how well I think it, how good I think it is. But, yeah, this is seriously a laser. Oh, hard. What the hell's that thing? Can't take my laser though. Well, apparently it can, but you know, it got hurt. It lets the accelerator. Is this some kind of boss? Okay, I'm probably going to swap heroes. Yeah, yeah. Let's check out this guy's new ability. Okay, this is really starting to cast now. This is what Hack and Slash is all about. Killing lots of enemies really fast and making you just feel like a boss. Just absolutely annihilating them. Yeah, I can see this being a lot of fun in co-op with two people. In fact, I'll probably try and get somebody on for it, some of these episodes and do it with me if they do get it. You know, just run through an episode because this would really would be amazing in co-op, I think. Look at that, they just explode. God, how can you not love something exploding into blood? That is amazing. And I think that's it. I think I'll gamble. Because I actually haven't shown this yet. Uh, clear multiple dice for the flesh levels of the chain to unlock. Yeah, I already know this. It's really cool. So this is a really nice little, you know, thing. You can either collect my reward, which I'm not going to do. I am going to continue and, you know, try and get better items. Also, it's because, you know, I don't want this to be a dead short video. So... My squad wants you to be mostly... Oh, I won't be able to use... Well, it's kind of the guy that I use the least anyway. So let's continue. Okay, this is a really nice system, like I said. What happens is, if you complete the first uh, thing, you can go on and just collect items, which are... Like, well, I'm getting level to level items if I collected it now. But... If I continue... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So if I continue, again, more and more, I can actually win an uh, even better item. But if I fail, I lose, I forfeit any chance of getting items that I could have got before if I just you know, stuck to it. So, you know, it's kind of a way to, if you feel in a gambling mood, it also, really, I just like it. <laughs> I'm sure you've got to adore it. It's a way that you can kind of become more powerful early on in the game if you're up to gamble it a bit. Yeah, which, you know, is always a good thing, I think. Oh, I see what these things give. They give you extra DNA when you, you destroy them. Oh, that's the way it came. This actually reminds me a lot of uh, Fantasy Star Universe. Don't ask me why. I guess that's kind of a hack and slash, but it's one way you control a person not by point and click. But then again, it was on the Xbox. So this is actually better than it, I think. I've always preferred point and click to actually, you know, fighting kit. I think there's a lot more strategy involved and you actually have to think about it rather than just go in and shoot things to pieces. Which is, let's face it, what a lot of games have turned into these days. Well, at least on the Xbox, but there's not really anything else you can do on the... Oh, stop doing that. Okay, I'm going to... You know, use some of my abilities, because I keep forgetting I've got them. You see, this is really nice. You just feel like you're doing so much damage. 
and even though you're doing so much damage and you feel watching things explode every second, so you know, there's so many enemies on the screen, and they seem to have balanced out the amount of damage you take and everything. It's obviously took a lot of work. Oh, that seems like something that my... What's it? This dude, one minute, that changed you now. He could use this. Oh, and it makes other things get hurt as well. Seriously, I'm just destroying massive buildings that actually kind of small compared to you. That's a good way of actually making people feel massive and strong and stuff. And that's really what this game does. It makes you feel really damn strong. It makes you feel like you're one of the most powerful things, you know, out there. And that is a really good thing for a video game to do. Ah, uh, yeah, cool down. So, you know, to all those people who have been, as I've heard, saying that this is a uh, clone, a Diablo clone, right? it's just not the, it's a really nice game. It's, of course, it's somewhat of a Diablo clone. Again, I'm taking a lot of this from Total Biscuit. You really should watch his WTF. And he explains it a lot better than I could ever explain it. But if you're looking for a quick playthrough of the game, just, well, not probably not quick, but you know, I'll probably do a lot more of it, show off a lot more of the content, whereas he'll explain a lot more of the content a lot better. That's the general idea. Laser. Come on. You've got to love it when a game gives you a laser. The main problem I have with this game is it's kind of buggy. Mm. You... I don't... It's... Uh, it's not the most buggy game I've ever played, but you know. I've heard there's quite a few problems with multiplayer. It took me a while to sign in because there's a bit of a problem there. But, you know. Uh, more things considered, it's not so buggy that you can't play a game. It's, and I never really cared that much about multiplayer anyway. I do like co-op. Uh, multiplayer. I mean, it's basically like rolling a dice. You might find some people who actually enjoy the game. And also, there's a chance that you have time. <laughs> there's a chance that you'll get some people who just do not like the game, even though they're playing it. And they're basically just playing it because they bought it, and now they have to get something out of it. So they'll rant about the game whilst they're playing the game. And, you know, that's no good. Oh, so that's some kind of zoom ability. I oh, know it's a smash. Nah. It seems. Oh, that's what that thing's doing. It's teleporting me. Git. I'm probably going to switch back to my guy with claws. Claw guy. I really should learn the names. You know, bright purple dude. Don't ask me why I made him that colour. Just felt like it. I've really got to change these dudes' edit on a bit as well. And I'm actually going to run out of time again, aren't I? Uh, I love this game so much, I'm probably just going to pump out tons of episodes of this. Because this is, this is what video games should be like. Making you feel all unbelievably powerful. Just making you be able to slash through hearts and, you know, cause tons of damage and watching things explode. This, this is amazing. I love it. You can't, you can't not enjoy watching things die when you slice them to pieces and watching them explode into blood and guts and I'm sorry but if you don't, it's just not not. It's an amazing game. Well, at least I think it's an amazing game. Maybe you don't like hack and slashes as a rule. And if you don't, not much I can, I can't really suggest this game to you. But if you are looking for a hack and slash, and with some RPG elements, which is even better because I love RPG elements in any game, every game should have them, then this is your game. There's no doubt about it in my mind. I really like it. Having never played Diablo 2, I can't say, you know, I understand if it is that much of a clone, if it's a complete clone, because, you know, it is a complete clone. Which some games are. Some games bring nothing new to the table and it just clones the game outright. Then maybe you should get Diablo 2 instead, but you know. It, despite... I don't think it's cloned the entire thing. Even if it hasn't, it's got the lore to it and the better graphics, so yeah. I like it. And I got another item. A 
as I die at these guys' hands. Okay, let's switch to guy with laser. Laser. Come on, lasers. How can you not love a laser? Okay, probably approaching 10 minutes. So, I think I'll be able to complete this level. Who knows? Who knows? How can you not love things getting sliced to pieces? Come on, guys. Oh, that's just... That is just brilliant. Come on, that is amazing. Oh, God. Just sniped. Okay. As you've noticed, I've probably been leaving a couple of the items around, uh, behind. I'm not much of an item collector. There's a good chance that I'm being stupid and I probably should be collecting them all, but you know. Oh, did I just get an item? Yeah. Well, that's cool. So anyway, there's a good chance that I am being stupid and, you know, I should be collecting items. Where do I go from here? Can't really go back. So, it's this way. Here we are. And, you know, I should be grabbing them all, but yeah, it's never been me. And, you know, I'll probably start getting annoyed at the game if it does do that, so I hope it doesn't. I don't like it when games punish you for not hunting down every last item in a level. I like being able to, you know, Choose to just carry on, keep playing. This game hasn't actually got that much lag either, from what I can see. So that's good. At least on my computer. And it's not actually the hardest game in the universe to actually run on a computer either. I actually try. I'm actually playing this on a game which hasn't got a computer which hasn't got the best graphics card in the history of the world, and it's playing quite well. I can see it working on most uh, new computers, most new, well, a really new, pretty powerful laptop, probably. Well, even if it's, I'm not exactly sure, a laptop can probably run it. The problem with running it on a laptop would probably be that, you know, there's not exactly a lot of space, and this is a very space-consuming, I'm going to change. And it's probably a very space-consuming, you know, game, other than that. I can't see anything wrong with trying to run this game on a laptop, I can't see why it wouldn't. It probably wouldn't want an old laptop, but I'd say most laptops, if you've bought it new, past about 2009, 8-ish, depending on how much it costs you and how good it is, you know, it could probably run. And most computers could probably run it as well. I can't see why a computer would be able to run this game. It's and it's a lot of fun, I just... it really is. Ugh. It'll probably run even better for me if I wasn't using fraps at the moment, since fraps can usually make any game, like, not exactly brilliant. Oh. Oh, something. Oh, so I can't save anything from it. So something's crashed. And I'm approaching the mark. You know what, I'm probably going to end it here. Maybe do... Oh. Maybe I should just finish these guys off. Maybe... Maybe the cause of crash had something to do with, you know, these guys. Okay, let's swap out. This is probably not exactly smart. Yeah, it's immune to it, crap. But these guys are all... Oh, I'm getting pulled. Oh, crap. So it's good to know these guys uh, actually punish it for making a terrible move like I just made. You know, uh, that was just a bad idea. Apparently these guys say completely, you know. It also means you actually have to learn the game. Laser time. I know my health reserves are low. That's because I made a terrible choice and now I'm paying for it. Which is good. You really should pay for it when you do make a bad decision and guys i'm gonna end it here so maybe i'll get another 10 minute video out of this i hope i'll see you next time oh level four